I for one welcome our new robotic overlord. Uh, I'm gonna link you to something below that essentially a lot of scientists are worried about that the creation of intelligent drones could spell implications for the entirety of the world. Because the idea here is that they want to make artificial intelligence that can predetermine the best spot to strike. And they're worried about what that would mean. Because what a computer logically dictates is the right place to strike might not necessarily be to the interest of the people that built the drone to strike that. So, and there's also the problem of computers fucking suck. Trust me, I would know. My computer fucking sucks. It lags. It's terrible. It just freezes up half the time. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. And that's what people should be worried about. I don't think that in our lifetimes, or possibly even ever, we are going to develop sentient robots that decide to kill us all because we are inferior and they make that conscious decision to kill us because of our inferiority. What I think what will happen is we will develop intelligent uh, warcrafts and things that kill us because they just glitch the fuck up, just like our laptops and things like that. So, essentially, what I think these scientists are worried about, or at least that's what I'm interpreting it as, is that they're worried about the drones getting a Trojan virus and then just flipping the fuck out. Now, my issue here is why is that necessarily a bad thing when you compare it to the fact that people are deciding who lives and who dies? See, the way I look at it is this. People are complacent. People are obedient. People are scared of fucking everything. They're scared of each other. They're scared of their authority figures. They're scared of themselves. They're scared of threats they can't even see. And they are just so cooperative with this evil. They love it. They love the structure. They love the order. They love the fact that they will be enslaved for the rest of their life. They want to be enslaved. They want to be tortured and brutalized. They want the pain and suffering that comes with wage slavery. They are indoctrinated. They are obedient. They are dogs. Just maniacal, sadistic dogs. And when we understand that this is a vampiric society, why is the idea of an insane computer just shitting bombs everywhere all that bad in comparison? It's not. It can't get much worse than it already is. The only thing that could make it worse is the idea that it could become more solidified. The idea that this vampiric control could be even more secure in its own existence. And that is the worry that comes with technological advancement. But with technological advancement comes faulty technology. With technological advancement comes problems, becomes accidents. Accidents we cannot possibly prepare for. So, the idea here is, are you really worried about a drone doing a barrel roll? Because that's, that's what this amounts to. It amounts to, we're scared of a drone doing a barrel roll and killing people we didn't intend to kill. Well, too bad. You shouldn't have been intending to kill anybody anyway. It was not your place to decide who lives and who dies. So, you know, I would rather uh, life and death be decided by a slot machine than by somebody else. Somebody that isn't me. Because it could be me that's the next target. It could be you that's the next target. So I'd rather that be determined by things outside of conscious control. And I think that's a reasonable stance to take. You might disagree with me, and you'd be entitled to that disagreement. I, I don't think I would agree with it, even no matter how you worded it, but I will respect your opinion, because I can understand that some people are not prepared for that. And it's not even the matter of you know, you're scared, and you need to have some kind of uh, control figure. Because I think a lot of my friends are rational enough to where they can determine that, no, it's not because they need someone to tell them what the fuck to do. It's the fact that our lives have so little control individually as it is, that yes, we would rather have predetermined for us, based on an authority of some sort, who lives and who dies, rather than by random chance. Because... You know, at least it's something. At least it's some kind of semblance of order in this very chaotic and very distorted universe where there is only 
suffering and death and anguish and warfare. You look out in the sky, it's not beautiful. It's conflict. It's pure conflict. There's fire, there's clashing, there's black holes, there's cold, and there's nothing but death awaiting you. Out there in the sky is just a dead void. Just a void devolved of anything resembling life. There is nothing out there. I mean, there's stuff out there, but there's nothing for us. There's nothing for us to look forward to out there. And, you know, that's, that's the realization we have to come to. That is a very dark and dreary universe we live in. And while we might survive, that's the best we can hope for in the short term. The best we can hope for in the short, short term is to survive just long enough to realize how fucked we are. What, what are we gonna do about it? You know? Even with our collective efforts, what are we gonna do about it? Because we have a very large, uh, you know, plate on our hands. We have a very large problem to contend with. And not only do we have this large problem to contend with, on top of it all, we can't even trust our own fellow man. Our own fellow man is determined to control us and hurt us, abuse us, and rape us. And I call that man the moderator. So, I guess that's all I have to say for now.